by Dallas, make it hurt. Hi guys, here paper 2020, May, June, uh, summer paper 3-1, paper 3-1 and in this we are going to solve uh, now that is web authoring. Okay, in this session we are going to do web authoring. So here is the one uh, from evidence onwards. Uh, just we had to create one evidence document by ourselves open uh, MS Word document and uh, we are going to give the details uh, all these in the header of three column then we will save that document with the with this name and and followed by uh, our candidate number so just an example is this okay we have to keep this document aside and uh, we have to go for the task two. So that's about evidence document. Now let's go for this task two. You are going to create a web page and edit a style sheet for Tawara Gaming Computers. The web page and style sheet must work in any browser. All color codes must be in hexadecimal. Make sure that your style sheet contains no HTML. So here is the one uh, we're going to edit style sheet uh, and we're going to create one web page. Fine. And that web page has to uh, means the software we use that should work on any browser uh, and the color codes are in hexadecimal. And we have to make sure HTML the uh, style sheet doesn't contain any HTML. So create a new folder called TGC. Now for this we have to go to our folder from where we got this 2020 paper. So this is the one. Right click create a folder that's called what's the name? Name of the folder is name of the folder is TGC. Here is the one. TGC in capital letters. Enter. Now back to the question. Look at the following files and store them in your TGC folder. PG board logo pros TGC and water. Okay. Uh, logo and hold down the control key. Let me just select all those one, two, three, four, and five. Just drag all of them six files to TGC now here is a set of files there are six files now just let me confirm there are six files here yes done display the contents of your TGC folder showing the folder name all file names extensions image dimensions and file sizes okay go to your folder here we have uh, no, how to this is already there. Just how to uh, set that. Uh, let me show you how to get this even size. Also, we don't get that. Where is the size? Okay, now we're gonna have see names are appearing there, and we're gonna have what more uh, names are there for the name, uh, the files and names in the folder folder name is also there and all the file names are there extensions dimensions and sizes the one just now I deleted extensions uh, here is a TGC folder so just right click in this bar and uh, click on dimensions so you will see the dimensions appearing here okay tags not there just you can close that and uh, another one is the size right click now we'll go for the size there's one and another one is uh, another one is what image dimensions ex extensions we have to we are the extensions just right click uh, here there are no extensions we have to go to more and go down to file extensions file extensions here is a file extension okay 
Okay, there. Okay, this is the list they want to see, and I guess they want a screenshot as well. Yeah, we have to take a screenshot. Uh, here is the one. Just I'm gonna go for light shot. Okay, just press print screen and just let the folder name be seen there. And uh, here's this is the one. Just to copy and you will paste in the evidence. So just let me open a blank document. This is evidence one. I guess evidence one it is. Uh, what is the it's evidence one. Okay, so just take evidence one and just paste that. Okay, this is the first one we got. Now let's go back. Here, this is all done. Yeah, question two. Uh, create a web page called tgc.htm. Uh, this web page must work in all browsers and will have a table structure as shown below. Yeah, this is the table we're going to create exactly like this, having all the dimensions perfectly. Now, for that, I have to open front page. We are using front page. MS Office front page 2003 is the one we are using, the software. So we are going to solve all the uh, uh, all the web page uh, authoring topics of all the papers using only front page here now see here the uh, default the web page has been uh, there then just right click on that save and we have to go to our folder where we have this uh, folder uh, from where we got this question papers and other other files uh, where's my inside TGC? I have to save. And what's the name uh, I'm supposed to give? Uh, what is the name there? It's tgc.htm. tgc.htm. Okay, save it. Now you see in, in the corner the name of the file. Now, what's next? We're going to create this table. So, let's see how many rows and columns it got. Uh, one, two, three, and four columns in all. Uh, sorry, uh, no, four rows in all. And one, two, three. There are three columns. Okay, so three columns and four rows. Now, let me go. I have to insert a table. So, go to table, insert, and table. Here, just always click in pixels and just mention there are four rows and three columns okay three columns in four rows done fine here is the table and just uh, get the structure of the table skeleton of the table here this is the first uh, first this row is totally single row a single cell and here is another uh, one merged up and rest all fine. Okay, the first row we have to make a single cell. That's we're going to merge. Select this first row and go to table, merge cells. And the other two and three uh, rows as well merged up. Go to table and merge cells. Okay, done. Now, what's next? The skeleton has been uh, made. Now we have to go for the dimensions of it, dimensions of the table. So here 750 is the width and 100 is the height. Always first dimension is a width and second one is a height. Okay, so let me say that for the first row. Here is the one right click and the first since this is across the cell is across the table. So we have to go for table properties. Okay, table properties and the width is 750. Width is 750. Apply. Okay. Now, further, we have to go for the cell properties to set the 
to set the what uh, the height so height is how much 100 only for this cell it goes like this and restore the cells we will set only uh, the cell properties okay and okay now I'm going to set this one what is the the cell uh, the name B B it goes like that A B C D E F G H I okay now I'm going to work with B here this is a B and what are the uh, uh, the dimensions 216 to 470 here right click cell properties word this 260 to six zero and uh, this one is four seven zero in pixels apply okay now I'm going for uh, C now what are the dimensions 225 into 225 all those four the same okay exactly let's do it fast two two five and here is two two five apply okay here uh, cell properties worth two two five and uh, here also two two five apply okay now this is another one worth is two two five and this one is also two two five apply okay now this one cell properties every cell uh, for every cell you have to mention the dimensions don't think that it is exactly same to the previous cell so no need to set but you have to set every cell's dimensions two to five two to five apply okay now i have this g i guess something uh what are the dimensions of it uh 260 and two to five right click cell properties here this one is 260 and uh, this one is 225 apply okay now other one 225 and 225 okay done now we are going to do this first uh, specify size uh, the width 225 and 225 apply okay the last one here 225 and two two five apply okay yeah all done now what's the question this all done uh, anything each table cell is identified with a letter and uh, all dimensions are in pixels the letters and dimensions shown in this table must not appear or uh, yeah we gonna we should not say that the table shows the spacing between cells which will be set when your style sheet is edited so this will do later uh, while we are creating the style sheet table borders must not appear this as well uh, along uh, in the style sheet okay these two now let's go for the third uh, step enter in cell a the text Thwara gaming computers okay here Thwara gaming computers next set this style uh, to h1 he heading one it is this is the biggest size in the head all the headings or six headings will be out of these all you see there heading one is the the highest size the biggest size and this is smaller 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 smallest is the sixth one so here is the heading done uh, for place in cell b the image 2331logo.png logo in this okay right click or else just click in this go to insert uh, picture and from file uh, here logo this is the one yeah uh oh it's really big here is the one okay for the next one okay what's next let me see uh, we're gonna work with this is done paste and cell C the image processor board water okay processor C C E H where where is C E where is C E just let me see uh, C E and H in the same column C E H second column 
okay uh, where is my second column I guess this is where the cursor is blinking yeah this is the first one this is the second one this is C now go to insert a picture from file uh, what's now what's that a processor something Pros oh sorry I just took the wrong one I took the wrong one I took it from wrong file here this is not the one where is that uh, not 20 2020 paper 31 TGC sorry from here I'm supposed to take this one sorry okay this one now come over here uh, I have to take processor insert picture from file uh, processor now here I have to go for something motherboard motherboard I guess insert picture from file um, board board oh god board okay and here also we have one insert picture from file uh, water this is water now what's more after this question this is done um, where necessary in the HTML, make sure that each image is displayed as two to five pixels wide, uh, wide, whilst uh, maintaining the aspect ratio. Okay, the one which is the biggest, just this one we have to edit. Right click, go to picture properties, and we are going to set the size for it. This is the size, and two to five pixels only. Two to five pixels, just and uh, yeah, this one uh, check this, and it is in pixels and uh. A width and height must be same yeah now exactly matching with other pictures now what's next in the question paper six place in cell B the text processors here processors motherboards Here, water cooling systems, okay, uh, set this text to style 2, I um, mean style H2, okay, all this select, hold down control, oh, it's, it's going, okay, single thing, uh, 2, only the text to second one okay next uh, sixth is done enter in cell G the text last edited by where is here last edited by then uh, on a new line enter your names and the number candid number set this as a h3 okay on a new line uh, name and uh, center enter and a candid number Okay, and set this whole thing for H3 style here H3 okay what's next now this is done add appropriate alternate text to all images alternate text is uh, uh, is the text which appears in place of image uh, in case the image doesn't uh, 
download uh, means it doesn't download or doesn't appear on in your web browser okay so that is called uh, with an attribute alt a l t alt so let's set that it right now very this one uh, right click go to picture properties general this is the text okay so this is actually logo fine so just if we, you can select your own names it's fine uh, this is something processor right go to general and I'll type in there processor uh, this one is something motherboard here under text and this is water cooling general water cooler cooling system something okay this is done save the work in between now what's next attach the style sheet uh, 231TGC to this web page save your web page okay fine so question number 9 we're going to do right now uh, let's go to format style sheet links add app to open yeah this is under TGC just double click and okay yeah it's been added the style sheet has been added now we're gonna save this fine just you can click two three times on save button now what's next or oh, now we're gonna open that style sheet uh, in a suitable uh, same uh, our front page and we're going to edit to meet the following specification okay we're going to edit that or uh, no rewrite the whole thing as well and uh, rest all we have to set okay and now let me just open that file uh, go to file open and I have to open which one I have to open this style sheet TGC yeah this is a uh, style sheet and it's got only tables vertical align that's a text align only two attributes uh, no mentioned over there and but we have to match uh, this all means we're going to edit this as for this this specifications over here this whole thing okay fine so this is the end of this uh, part one uh, we'll meet in this part two